The feud between former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Congressman Matt Gates has moved out of Washington and into Florida's 1st Congressional District. A super PAC aligned with McCarthy has spent $3 million in Gates' primary in support of his opponent, former Navy pilot Aaron Dimmick. The PAC admits Gates is on track to easily win his primary Tuesday, though they believe they damaged his reputation and chances in a rumored run for governor in 2026. Gates says he has no plans to run for governor, but said if his plans change, he hopes to have opposition, quote, as incompetent as these dorks. This effort to defeat and damage Gates is part of McCarthy's revenge tour against the eight Republicans who voted to oust him as speaker. So far, he's one for two in primaries. Congressman Bob Good, the Freedom Caucus chairman, lost. Congresswoman Nancy Mace of South Carolina won. The Gates-McCarthy relationship can be summed up with this video from the Republican National Convention. Oh, we're much more united. I mean, think about that. That was all the Democrats and eight Republicans. Hey, Kevin, One who's not coming speak? back, and then, and then the other are part you that you tonight? have, and the other part you have is one person who raised no. the issue. He's got an ethics complaint about paying, hey, sleeping with a 17-year-old. That so that's the way they would go. Off, so th that's, that's the biggest the challenge stage. we have. That was Gates interrupting McCarthy's interview on CNN and McCarthy responding by bringing up allegations that Gates slept with a 17-year-old. That's the way it's been ever since McCarthy was ousted as speaker. According to McCarthy, this is how the feud started. And I'll give you the truth why I'm not speaker. It's because one person, a member of Congress, wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17-year-old. An ethics complaint that started before I ever became speaker, and that's illegal, and I'm not going to get in the middle. Did he do it or not? I don't know. But an ethics is looking at it. There's other people in jail because of it, and he wanted me to influence it. The Justice Department investigated the claims against Gates and informed him he would not be charged in 2023. One of Gates's friends was sentenced to 11 years in prison for sex trafficking and other crimes. The House Ethics Committee investigation into the Florida congressman is ongoing. He's denied wrongdoing. There's not a single human being who has publicly accused me of any wrongdoing of any kind. And like at what point after these things have been said about me for years and years and not a single person has even accused me of wrongdoing, does this sort of become a strange urban legend? Despite Gates being on an apparent path to victory in his primary Tuesday, Kevin McCarthy is unlikely to give up his campaign against Gates. The former House Speaker has a score to settle, and he's got a lot of time and money. For more reporting on Congress straight from Capitol Hill, download the Straight Arrow News app and turn on notifications.